Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial about importing your file inside GoSign. There are a couple of ways on how you can import your file. The first one is by clicking the import file action set at the left part of your screen. A pop-up screen appears where you can select your file. At the drop-down menu at the bottom side of the pop-up screen, you can see which types of file we can import. PDF files, DXF file, OXF file and SGP files. When you unlock the Pro Pack, it's also possible to import PLT files, HPGL files and DMPL files. For now, we select our file we want to import uh, and we press open. As you can see at the right hand side of your screen, the tools are already assigned to the correct layer, the KISCUT layer and the TrueCut layer in this case. When we have imported our file, it's still possible to do some basic handlings on our file. We can rotate it 90 degrees, we can mirror it horizontally, vertically, you can remove double lines and double objects if there are any in there. Uh, you can choose the object orientation as well of your cutting vectors. Uh, what do I mean with this? This is basically you can choose your starting point and cutting direction of your vectors as I, as I show here in the video. Another thing you can do is changing the size of your file. You can do this in two ways. One, if you change one value like width, the other one will change accordingly to it if you close the lock. If you want them change them separately from each other, you make sure that the lock is open, as shown here in the video. Another way of importing your file inside GoSign is by opening it directly out of CorelDRAW. To do this, we go to the General tab and go Sign, and we set our plugin settings to Direct Import. Next, we go to CorelDRAW, we make our file, we set it up, and then we can click on the plugin uh, Send the Go Sign. You will see that the file is directly getting imported uh, into Go Sign, with again the correct layers already set for you. For these two ways of importing your file, we were using the basic action set. This action set is color based. There is also another way of importing your file, which is method based. For this, we are going to use the advanced action set. If we go to the general tab, we can easily switch between action sets. If we click on reset our action sets, and then we can select the advanced action set. We press OK. And you can see at the left part of our screen that some action sets are different than before. If we now click on import file again and we open the same file as before, you will see that the file is not correctly opened. Uh, our file is set on one layer while we want to have two. This is because this file is made up color based. If you now go to Coral Draw again, and we select our layers, assign them to the correct method. We can save it as a PDF. We give it the correct name. We save it in the correct folder. If we now click import file again and we open up our new file, you see it's getting imported correctly with the correct methods assigned, it, assigned to it. If you have unlocked the Pro Pack, it's possible for you to open up your files with the help of the barcode. To do so, we import in the new action set. We go to the folder Suma Go Sign, where you can see Opal's barcode workflow on roll. We select the XML file and we click open. You will see that a new action set is added to our action set list. If we click on the action set barcode workflow on roll, you will see that the software will look immediately after the barcode on the file. When the barcode is scanned on the file, the file gets opened in GoSign. Okay, that concludes our tutorial around importing a file in GoSign. Thank you for watching and see you for the next one.